It's Tuesday, the 14th of May. King's Cross. There's a new train in town. Azuma. I don't know if that's the official. That's. Um, we're going to have a ride on the brand new Azuma trains. They officially start tomorrow. So we get a little sneak preview. There's a press trip today. Are you ready? Cue the music. And that closes out, and then that can be coupled to another train if you need to make two five cars into a ten. Well, we're building the Azumas, and now the Azumas going into service, so it's all very exciting. As you would expect, it's, it's like it's just a, a huge media frenzy. A lot of people, a lot of people from LNER, a lot of people from Hitachi, the Prime Minister. There's almost too much, and too many people going on. Train. <laughs> living the dream, man, living the dream. Ladies and gentlemen, the train now boarding at platform 8 is the first new Azuma service on LNER. Please take your seats for this first service departing at 10.36. Thank you. Nice for cat, that's what I'm thinking. Do we get free tea? I don't know yet if we're on like a nine car or a five car or I need to work this out. So there's a gentleman off camera. Thanks. Gentleman off camera, what's your name? Tony Tony that works for Modern Railways magazine. It's Tony telling that we're on a nine car. So Tony, how many of the carriages are standard class and how many are first class? I think it's three and six. Is it is it three and six or two and seven? That's the question. So Roger, this is your, what's this? You call it the fist, fist of, of quality. quality. Go on, Roger. Not bad. <laughs> It's the fist of. Now that is good. That usually goes dong dong dong. It, the fist of quality, apparently. When it's new, when it's It's a thing. Manufa it's a thing. It's a thing. Oh, so they they let us in the cab just 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 for a second, just before it leaves. That's what it looks like. We're on the move. We've left King's Cross. The all important thing is, uh, on this nine car train, is that there is, there is a buffet. This may not be the last time I say this on video. One of the greatest things about a long distance rail journey is the fact that you can get up and walk along the train from your seat and go and get a cup of tea at the buffet. It's one of the greatest joys of rail travel, walking to the buffet. So we're heading for the buffet. Oh, standard class, standard class. You've got, to, you've got to check out the red seats in standard class. This is the standard class with the red seats. It's sort of fun and uplifting. I like how bright it is. Don't often get very bright interiors. Like East Midlands is quite bright, but this is nice. Um, good, good carpet as well. So I 
am delighted <laughs> to see that the buffet is again. here on board and you've had to walk and I think they're going to let me go behind the counter and maybe serve a cup of tea very badly but Yes, the buffet is here. Hello, Hello. Uh, Susan. Hi there. How may I help you? Can I have two teas, please? T two teas? Two. Two. With milk, please. Where are the cups? Cups are just there. Can I take one? Yeah. Take two. Two teas with milk, please. I have washed my hands this morning. Don't worry. And are we on the machine? Yeah, or so if you just put one cup under there. And go. Yeah, I'll fiddle it. Is she okay on the cup? Yeah, I'll fiddle it. Is she alright on the trolley? And then hot water, right? Yes, so as long as it's in the holder. You're right there, Jeff. It's a hold. Okay, and it. then just press it, it and it does it for you. <laughs> it's hard to do because the train, there's a bit of wobble. Obviously, these new Azuma trains are super smooth, but there's still a bit of. So we just wait until smooth. it's done for you. So could can we get. Would you like any sugar? Can we get one of these sugar machines at home in our kitchen? We could we could get a machine that just. You need a kettle? Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> then you have to give it a bag, isn't that? Yes, we do. The yeah, bags are down there. Rate me out of ten, and you can be as honest as you like. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'd, be, I'd be, give me a four at most. Five. Five out of ten there, from Susan. <laughs> Trickier than you think, because the train is obviously, you can't help but have a bit of movement at high speed. There's a gentleman over here called Terry. Hi, Terry. Do you feel like you've, you've acquired the skill of cooking whilst wobbling? Yeah. <laughs> if I'm at home, they shake me around a bit. So yeah. How are you with the new trains? Fabulous. Yeah, they're great. Very impressed with them. Kitchens are fabulous, the fans work. So yeah, it's all good. Oh, so on the old trains, the fans didn't work? <laughs> they do, but make loads of noise. But okay. these just work proper. I'm gonna eat my biscuit now in standard class. I was just, you caught me just thinking it would be really funny if I just did, I went, I went shoom into Jeff's mouth with the biscuit. Do you want, do you want to do a funny, here comes the Azuma. <laughs> Too much? Too much. We're on the wrong side. We're on the wrong side. That's all right. It's because we're sat in standard class and we're all we're all confused. We're all back to fun because we never come to standard class. Don't know, no, no, <laughs> we do. Ob obviously, we're on a press trip, so they've sat us in first class. Amusingly, that shot a minute ago where we did the Mexican wave with all the LNL stuff, Vicky just pointed out that that was the quiet carriage. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but it honestly feels maybe just because the train's new, maybe because they've cleared a path. But this train feels like it is. It really feels like it's going speedy, speedy and speedy, fast. Speedy. What do you think? Um, I think it's great. I like the carpet. I do. Sorry. What's, I what's on your my obsession care. with the carpet? I, the, my obsession with the upholstery <laughs> and the soft furnishings on trains. All is the, it because all the upholstery? Because I think it subconsciously affects how you feel on the train. So I think if you have a nice, pleasant interior, then you're you tend to feel more relaxed and have a nicer journey. So I like that these ones in the standard class are nice and colourful and bright um, and the first class ones feel very plush uh, and luxurious. And the carpet's great. Um, they've sort of done this inbuilt sort of clever design thing with the carpet so you've got the aisle which has got design on it. That's why I think it makes a big difference. Can I introduce you to something, to something totally bizarre? Is it this biscuit? No, these, we don't have the biscuits. I really want to eat it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce you to something and you're going to go, what? I've never heard of that before. Okay. Uh, does it pass the Jeff Marshall elbow leading test and sleep test? What I tend to do is that when I'm sat here, I like to do this with my elbow. Like put it there and so, can, like, can you do this? Because there are some trains where this bit isn't wide enough or it slopes down and so you go like that. And once you, once I've pointed this out to you, like this for some reason, because if you're napping on a train, you do that because you can't put your head on the window because it just it vibrates. But you can do get your elbow in, put your put hand in there, and then you can you do that. This only works if your elbow can rest down here. Does that make sense? Yes. And, and it can. Yeah. So yeah. And there are some trains that you cannot yeah. do this. All. We're wandering back down to our seat, and I couldn't help but notice that Mr. Pete Waterman is sat right here. Hello. Can I, can I do like a weird, awkward handshake on camera? There you go. Wrong number. I'll do me. <laughs> 
And you, because I thought that you were a steam train fanatic. I'm a railway fanatic. You're a railway fanatic. And you tell me, what's the charity you're involved in? I'm the president of the Railway Benevolent Fund, which is the only staff charity for the railways. Okay, so you're on the train today. I know you've only been on 10 minutes. And you don't have to say nice things just because I'm on the No, no, it's, no, no, it's, it's fantastic. It's, you know, more trains, more seats, faster services. I mean, that's what we've been waiting for for 30 years. Give me a thumbs up. Loving it. Spot on. We've made it to Peterborough. Uh -oh. I, I don't know if they're letting us out. Because obviously a shot on the platform of the train would look cool. Uh, so I think we just stand here for a few minutes. Oh, I see Peterborough. Do you want to have an argument now or, or later? Uh, we're very excited to be talking to John Doughty, who is the engineering director. Hello, John. Firstly, the, the extra capacity that's being added is on average is over 100 seats more per train, which is a big increase in capacity and will help us to manage our busier times and also enable us to uh, sell more attractive um, fare tickets, um, which is, is really great news for the customers. But the levels of comfort and experience are a real um, change with the Azuma. Um, we've got better levels of reliability of the train systems, more space, lots more space, particularly in standard class for, for our, uh, the knee room for the customers, um, improved air conditioning, the Wi-Fi has got a lot more capacity in it. So a lot of the things that our customers say is important to them, uh, they will be getting with this, this train fleet. So it's, it's a real step change. When all of the uh, Azumas are delivered, we'll have 65 trains. So Lots more trains will, deliver, will enable us to deliver an enhanced timetable, lots more services, more regular and uh, to shorter journey times. So it's really an enabler to, to have a step change in the timetable, which we'll be doing incrementally over the next few years. We come through the other bit of first class down here and we just want a quick peek uh, at the kitchen. Kitchen, first class kitchen, but all the fresh food is made, prepared by chefs on board. Delicious, this is Lee, one of our hero chefs. Give us a, give us a wave, sir. Hello, give us a nod. Oh, oh, give us a high five. Hello, you've got to wash your hands now. <laughs> Coming, heading back into London, a Thameslink train is just whizzing by there. I'm just checking out the menu. Uh, that's not the menu, that's, that's the place. That's the best place you've ever seen. That's the menu. One of these days, the he should be not, we should do like an actual dining experience so we're already on an LNER so the train. Yeah. Samples of this. Yeah. The quiche is good. Yeah, they're doing can, samples. You got, you got to dunk it. You dunking your Zuma biscuit? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, it is good. One final thing to remember, remember look, if you see something that doesn't look right, see it says it's sorted, contact British Transport Police on 6106. Or if that doesn't work, just, just find your local friendly on board British Transport. You're on every train, right? No, no, they're just here for... <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs> They're not on every train. Thank you very much for joining us today on the Zuma. Thank you very much for joining us today on the Zuma. So we've arrived back into King's Cross. We're getting out onto the platform. We are off the 800. Thanks, Kay. Bye. She gave me coffee. She's, she's my favourite. You, Andy. I just have to find Andy, who's going to tell me about the actual number of trains that they're using. Andy, step into shot. This is my new best friend, Andy, that works for Hitachi. Tell the camera, 43, 43 nine, nine car cars. units. We yes. have 22 five car units. Yes. So, in total, we have 65 trains. Yes. We have, in total, we have uh, 42 electric trains. Okay. And we have 23 bimo trains. And, and, and his piece of paper, I, I, you probably want this, don't you, and I can't steal it. You can keep a piece of paper. This piece of paper will now magic transform into a graphic on screen now. Andy, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Have a good day, my friend. Uh, as we leave, there's a little tote gift bag. Thank you very much. Thank you. So there you go, that's your brand new LNER Azuma train. <laughs> Every time you do that, I now have to 
Just not every time. Don't, don't stop doing it. <laughs> please, please stop doing it. I'm gonna go have an edit this now. I've got you lots of extra B-roll. Bye. Bye. <laughs>